Well, hello there everybody, this is a true nerd here, and we are looking at the Casio Pocket Mini. Uh, this bad boy was made in, uh, well, as far as I've been able to track, 1975. And it sold for, I believe, 7,300 yen, so about uh, 70 bucks. Um, so it was a, is a, you know, a, an affordable calculator. Um, Unlike the personal mini, however, this one, um, this particular guy, he has eight digits, um, and it uh, has a percentage function, and that's about it, and memory. So let's turn her on. Now this unit says in the, on the back takes about 0.2 watts. Right, so at three volts, that's about 66 milliamps. Um, I can believe that. And uh, so, let's take a look here. Also, it's a one chip LSI, just like the other one. So it's just one chip for the whole thing. Let's just take a look. Let's do a test here. One over nine times nine. So that's expected. Um, typically speaking, like I've said in other in, in the other uh, on the other video, uh, performing a test like that, it should go to one. Like a modern calculator with adequate precision should go back to one. However, in this case, it does not. So let's just see here. So we have okay, AC. Let me just see here. We go one, two, three. MR. See, I'm not exactly certain how the memory button is supposed to work. Twenty-five. Okay, right now memory recall is zero. Hmm. But anyways, the buttons feel really nice. They're nice and smooth. They, they, you know, they're responsive to the touch. We got, uh, uh, the display is quite bright. It's a very nice looking unit. Nothing wrong with it. It would fit in the pocket. I mean, it's not, it's not totally tiny, but it's, uh, takes two AA batteries. Oops, and you can also use uh, an external AC adapter. I'm, but you know what? I really don't know if that's a if that's center pin or what. So let's let that focus. It's pretty corroded. So, anyways, let's put that back in frame. There we go. You get to see my fat hands. But there we go. Oops, did I turn it off? This this particular guy, he's not very happy. He uh let's see. Yeah. Ooh, E E eighty. Let's see, see. Sometimes when you start it up weird it'll give you all kinds of uh bizarre alarms. Let's see, twelve times three times. Okay, there's no multiplication by a constant, as far as I can tell. Let's see, 12 plus 2. Yeah, no, there's no no constant multiplication. Let's just see what uh, 12, or here, see, 12 times 5%. See, that's how that works. Uh, C should clear the... Res the uh, the display and let's take a look here memory recall see I really don't know how that's 36 equals 25 oh I see okay so when you hit equals that's basically you're shoving something into memory All right so let's go 32 equals so clear 15 plus memory recall yeah 12 equals 36 plus memory recall. Okay. 
That makes sense. Normally, you'll have a lot of calculators probably around, oh, I'd say a few years from here, they'll have four, four memory buttons. Pardon me. They'll have the memory minus, memory plus, memory recall, and memory clear. This, however, only has one. But anyways, let's let us take this bad boy apart. Well, here we have this bad boy apart, and uh, we can see that we have, a, a, again, a single tube along here. This, to me, that looks like the transformer, and it's been integrated into a single part in this case. See, this guy, see, I don't see any markings showing the date of manufacture. Let's just say... Uh, Do you see them? Tell me. I mean, they should be plainly obvious. Let's uh, shift the light here. Okay, but this is obviously, this is the the main chip that does everything. We got some electrolytic caps here. Again, just like the other one. And now we have, okay, this is the resistor network for the keypads. Um, as you can tell, we have another set of those just solid, I don't know, tin covered copper, um, you know, connectors that go, not even like a ribbon cable, which would be nice, but I guess this was never intended to be taken apart. Um, but, anyways, so I guess that's it. See if there's anything. No, this is the underside of the board. Nothing spectacular to see there. There we go. Oops. And there we go. Very simple straightforward and you know what I probably made a mistake on how much this cost this was probably a lot more than 10,000 yen um, right if this was made in 1975 I don't see a date code UPD 977 but that's not really a, a date code well but I see R57536 so maybe the uh, 36th week of 1975 could be. I see four two seven five five nine. I see so that could be seventy five as well. But okay. Anyways, this has been a true nerd and you guys have a good day or night, whatever it happens to be, and remember to keep on building. Good night.